Hey there everybody, it's Red X Parasite and welcome back to Metroid Other M. This is going to be the finale, the end, and what better way to end a game than with a boss that has tentacles that knocks stuff down from the ceiling. It makes things go thump in the night. This boss is Fantoon. He was originally from Super Metroid. In this game, he is much bigger and much more threatening. His attacks can be quite annoying. You will be, I swear, it is like impossible not to take damage during this fight. I'm not saying it is completely impossible, but it's incredibly difficult. So I'm gonna start go going and lifting off, listing off his attacks. Uh, his first attack, which you saw at the beginning, was he can spawn these up to three hands, which will follow you around, attack you, and try to rape you. Um, the other main attack that he does are those little blue gaseous balls, flame, whatever you want to call them. Uh, he did those in Super Metroid, uh, and in Super Metroid they would drop pickups. This game, they do no such thing because pickups don't exist in this game. And in this game, he likes to launch a lot of them at the same time. So I think, just to humor you guys, when I'm going back and editing this, I am going to count how many times I use sense move during this battle because it is ridiculously spammed. Like, there's no tomorrow. The other attack that he can do are those red pools, not dead pools, red pools. But if you get sucked into one of those, then it just kind of knocks you in the air and does a whole bunch of damage. So just avoid those. And you should be alright. Obviously, you're gonna try to try to hit him whenever you can. So Make sure your your main priority though should be not getting hit because if you don't use the sense move, you will be dead so quickly. Quickly, you will not even have time to say don't eat the mushroom. Otherwise, oh yay! Okay, well I just kind of killed him, but otherwise you can use uh, plasma beam charge shots and. You can also use super missiles when you get the chance. And that's Fantoon. Because I did that in about three minutes. Yay! So that's technically the final boss of this game. And I'm glad that they put it in there. Because it's not that I didn't like the Queen Metroid as a boss. But I just thought, I don't know, what better way, in my opinion, to wrap the game up than to face Fantoon. As annoying as that fight can be, it's it's also quite fun. Um, speaking of things... Yeah, okay. Speaking of nothing, apparently. But no. This elevator should look familiar. Yeah, this is the elevator that was locked from the bottom because it was apparently at the top and it got stuck. Miracles of modern engineering. So let's blow it up! Ah, always the eloquent solution. But I don't know. Fantoon, I think, is a really awesome way to end this game. Um, actually. Okay. Last muscle expansion is, yeah, it's up. It's right up here. Say goodbye to that thing. And then you can jump up the sh shaft. There. Uh, lol. Okay. I got it. And that is 100% of the items. We have everything. So now that we have every single item in the game, let's go and finally get to that beacon. Finally. It's taken us a number of episodes, that's just because I was collecting items. But yeah, that's right, this is this is that room where we fought that first power bomb door. There's the elevator that doesn't work. 
So now let's go inside and activate a cutscene. <sighs> Adam's helmet. Yep, that's what Samus came back for. If you think about it, it really is irreplaceable. It has nostalgic value, I guess. If you remember, the game's actually going to do a nice little flashback for us. Soon. I hope. Game, do the flashback. Right now. Okay. So when Adam was watching us. And this... See? Right there. He's watching. He took his helmet off and he left it there. Dramatic music is making me tear up. So sad. Bad dad. Oh, you did not. You did not. Oh, yes, they did. What better way to mend a Metroid game other than Fantoon than an escape sequence? Yeah. The... So this, is, this marks the second time in the Metroid series that you can play as Zero Suit Samus. The first time was in Metroid Zero Mission. And then you can also play as Zero Suit Samus in Brawl. But... There's really no better way to end off a Metroid game than with an escape sequence. This one's not actually that hard. Uh, it's interesting because you can you can't use any of your like other abilities so you can only jump once and I totally screwed that up but it's you know it's interesting um, Samus does have her paralyzer gun so you see you can shoot it and you can charge it up and say shoot it at this space bar right here and jump over him it's cool I like this. Uh, it's a very nice way to end the game. I keep on saying that a lot. I'm becoming a broken record. You need to stop doing that. Oh my goodness, don't kill me. That has never happened to me before, ever. Ugh. Nerrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, if you did not I encourage you to watch the rest of it, I can't force you. Well, actually, no, I can force you. Mind control. Telepathy. But, yeah, just any, any views, any comments, I really appreciate them. And here we get our item collection rate, which is 100% yay! Perfect. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, Samus. Uh, Alright, so now, I can, now that we're done with the gameplay, I still have a few things I want to show off. Now that the game is over. This title music that you're hearing was from Metroid Fusion. This is actually what you'll hear when you're first playing through the game during the title screen, the uh, the theme of Samus, which you've been hearing all the time that I've been on the title screen, happens after you beat the game, whenever you're playing it after you beat the game. Uh, let's see, so there are a few things I want to show you now that you've beaten the game. You can unlock theater mode. Theater mode will allow you to watch any of the cutscenes in the game. There are a number of uh, kind of chapters, I guess you could call them. You know, like all these uh, story-related cutscenes. Uh, there's quite a extensive list of them. There's 30. Now, the game offers you the option of playing every single cutscene like at the same time. And when you add all of these cutscenes up, it literally is long as is as long as a feature length movie they even add in uh, sections of gameplay like where you'd be doing stuff in between the cutscenes just so you know what's going on so you can literally watch the entire game uh, through using this feature I've never done it I looked at it and I was like um, wow okay that's interesting the other thing that is now unlocked is gallery mode, and I did not mean to do that. Gallery mode, you can take a look at lots and lots of pictures, so I guess I'll, I'll scroll through a few of them. I'm not going to go and look at every single picture, because uh, there's a lot. So these are some of the character models and stuff. But I guess while I'm kind of perusing this gallery, I can... Offer my thoughts on this project. Be very reflective, like a mirror. I, you know, I, I hate you. I hate you. Die. Even though I've already killed you. Die, just die. But overall, I, I was pretty satisfied with this project. Uh, I think it went a lot better than my first Let's Play. I'm not gonna go and talk about that more. Because that was an absolute wreck. Seriously, don't watch it. But I did think my commentary was a lot better, I hope. Uh, and also the quality as well. Uh, I started using Sony Vegas to edit my videos. And so I've been able to do a lot more with them. Uh, like adding those little... You know, uh, item things on the... Uh, in the top right corner. I have... I'm terrible at describing things, apparently. Uh, but you know what I mean. In fact, I could show one off right here just for kicks. But that is Metroid Other M. Let's see, we can go take a look at the game. I want to see how long this actually took me. 6, 14, 16. So there's my practice file down there uh, that I was doing to prepare for this, which I beat that by about five minutes. Um... Yeah, as far as parts go, I was expecting this LP to be about 26 to 30 parts, and I did it in 22, which is kind of surprising, because when I was looking at uh, all the other LPs of this game on YouTube, just kind of gauging my progress as to where I was compared to other people, even looking at 100% ones, I don't think there was anybody that was like as far along as I was. To, to be honest, I mean, I had a number of episodes that were a little bit longer. I think the longest one was about 25 minutes, but <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I don't know. I beat the game so quickly. So that just kind of was surprising. It was a nice surprise. 
I'm just rambling on and on now. Although, to be honest, uh, I'm only at like 15 minutes on the recording right now, and this is supposed to be like a finale. Uh, although, in all, in, all, in all honesty, I didn't expect it to be <laughs> that long, just because I knew there wasn't that much of the game left. Uh, so, I, I guess it's going to wrap it up. I will... I hope to see you guys uh, for my next Let's Play. I'll be starting that sometime in the near future, I hope. So I hope you guys enjoyed the project. And I hope to see you. Well, not literally see you, but you know what I mean. Gosh, that's, that, that's just so stupid. I, I'm just going to pull one of these NCS things where I'm going to be like, this is so stupid. I should really just end the video off here, so I'm going to go and do that. Red X Parasite, signing out.